Well, it's a pleasure to be here because I was just in Las Vegas, so I need the money. <laughs> I lost a lot of money. I really did. I mean, I get them back at the buffet, don't get me wrong. Nine ninety-five, all you can eat. We'll see who wins this friggin' hand out, won't we? I do believe I have blackjack. I was at the prime rib counter going, hit me again. The buffet manager was horrified. You should have seen him. He looked like a deer caught in the headlights. Get the prime rib back in the kitchen. Finally, just, he just gave me my money back. Here's your thousand. Get out! <laughs> Actually, they have a buffet in Las Vegas. It's called the Oz Buffet. It's the Wizard of Oz theme. And it's a buffet. You walk up and it's the Emerald City. And it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. I ran to it. Yeah, how did the witcher, how did the doctor, how did the guy? Step into the sun, step into the light. Fine ribs and pork chops and scampi, oh my! Fine ribs and pork chops and scampi, oh my! You know, I talk about buffets, not because I'm a big guy. No, I'm actually writing a book, Around the World in 80 Buffets. <laughs> and in my research, I found that there are some foods that shouldn't be all you can eat. Like Chinese food, shouldn't be all you can eat because you get hungry again. I don't know what it is. They put something in it. They must. Because I order takeout, they're always real happy. Oh, he's gonna be back. <laughs> I give that big boy one hour. Because <laughs> you do get hungry again. What is it, too? And you go from full to starving. There's nothing in between. You go from, oh my God, I can't believe I ate all that chow mein. Hey, look, they brought egg rolls. <laughs> so I went to this Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet, and while the owner, he got pissed. I mean, he was rude, though. He'd come out every hour. <laughs> Son of a bitch, still here. Look, he go again! <laughs> he started screaming at me. You're going now! You're here for hour! Why you here for hour? You not come here anymore! <laughs> Why you have spare rib? You're so big! <laughs> Eat vegetable! Eat broccoli! You'll scare my wife! Love Chinese food shouldn't be all you can eat. Now, Japanese food. For the book, I went to an all you can eat sushi place. Mmm. All the raw stuff I can eat, huh? It was $22.95. $22.95 for raw fish. $22.95, you throw this on the grill. $22.95, I can't eat a dollar's worth. I brought a seal. I put him right under the table. Another plate, please. That seal ate buckets full. <laughs> the owner thought I was eating it all, though. Got yelled at again. <laughs> this guy scared me, though. He, he reminded me of Lord Toronaga from Shogun. <laughs> you! Big boy! Big boy, come here! <laughs> you eat like fish! 
that you eat like free willy. I was in Montreal. It was it was in the winter time. My friend says, "John, we're going skiing." Now I don't ski. Nobody's ever looked at me and went, "You ski, don't you?" <laughs> no. Now I wouldn't ski, but I'll go and look at the mountains and everything. But no, they gave me tequila. Now apparently, after the fifth shot of tequila, you think you can ski. <laughs> They should have a warning on the label. A chubby guy skiing with a slash to it. After the tenth shot, I thought I was Peekaboo Panette. And I didn't have a ski suit. Surprise, surprise. But they bought me one. It was white. That's my color. I look like an avalanche. They're evacuating the lodge. I didn't ski. They basically just pushed me off Mont Gabriel. That's when I learned how to speak French. She was telling me we went to gas this year. I fell down the mountain. I get to the bottom of the mountain and I'm covered in snow, nearly lifeless. Little kid walks up to me and goes. Frosty's dead. Frosty's dead. And he was crying. I didn't want him to cry, so I had to get up. You know, there must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. And I had a nutritionist. I went to nutritionist after nutritionist. One nutritionist. He was crazy. I walk into his office. He goes, "Well, the good news is you can have all the salad you want." <laughs> I don't want any salad. <laughs> What's the bad news? He wanted me to eat salad as the food. <laughs> Salad's not food. Salad comes with the food. <laughs> You go out, you order a steak. What do they do? They bring you a salad. They don't even charge you for it because it ain't worth anything because it ain't food. <laughs> salad comes before the meal. Salad is a promissory note that food will soon arrive. <laughs> oh, it's summertime now. My friends, family, they'll be looking to take me to places, amusement parks. Just get a video. Put them in an the amusement park. A lot of nay nay rides at amusement parks. John, let's go on the loop coaster. Nay nay. I don't loop. I half loop. And gravity says nay nay. All I need is a brief description of the ride to say nay nay. Oh, John, you should come. You squat down, then it shoots you about a hundred feet in the air. Nay nay. Oh, John, you should come because there's a safety bar. Nay, nay. You know why there's a safety bar? 'Cause it ain't safe. And no safety bars on big guy friendly. They snap you in half. Oh yeah, that's real safe. I'll put my balls over here on the platform. I'll pick 'em up on the ride back. Nay, nay. No skiing, not for me. From now on, they ask me to go skiing. I say nay, nay. And it's no, my friends, my family, they like to do things to me to see what will happen to me. In summertime, the sports, the activities, water skiing, that's another nay nay. The boat just pulls you. I didn't even stand on the skis. It was like snorkeling underwater really fast. I heard a shark go, what the hell was that? That's a nay nay. I'll tell you, a big nay nay. White water rafting. What if they give you a little raft? Listen, if the, if it doesn't have a casino and a buffet, it ain't seaworthy. I ain't getting in that thing. At the beginning of the month, my family took me to a water park. Now I like to swim. Swimming is my exercise. I frolic. But there are rides at the park. Horrible nay nay rides. <laughs> 
<laughs> the first ride we went on was the giant slide. It's like 20 stories high. And I'm looking for the elevator. <laughs> There's no elevator. How do you get up there? It's $35 to get in. You should carry my ass up there. <laughs> How do you get up? I'm in flip-flops and a Speedo, and I'm walking up a mountain. not visualize, just let's move on, shall we? <laughs> I'm walking up this thing, and I'm a little bit afraid of heights, and I'm halfway up, I'm going, Ricola! Ricola! Heidi went by with her grandfather. I don't know how high we went. I got to the top of the slide. Was it a slide? Nay, <laughs> nay. But I did not slide, and I have slid. When you slide, you go, wee. This is not what happened. I went, shh. I didn't slide. At no point did my butt touch slide. You reach around and you're not touching slide. That's a free fall. I was not issued a parachute. I'm falling and I see my family walking up. I'm yelling, it's not a slide! And I hit the water. Oh, God. Those people shouldn't have been there. Get this. I'm at home last week. Guy knocks on my door. He says to me, they're starving in Kosovo. I said, I've been here all day, pal. <laughs> Here's a quick impression. This is an Ewok from Return of the Jedi. If you didn't see Return of the Jedi, you won't like this. <laughs> One day you might see it and go, that was a very good impression. <laughs> I should see more movies. This is my Ewok. <laughs> Now let me finish up the water park story. Because there was one more ride. It was a medium slide. I thought it would be a fun slide. My butt touched slide. But the pool that you went into was too short. And you pick up steam. Well, I hydroplaned across the pool. I went through the fence out into the parking lot. And I mean way out there, H-I-J, please God, let me stop. I crawl back up to the gate, they want me to pay to get in again. Listen pal, I'm in a Speedo, you see a wallet anywhere? He said, I don't even see the Speedo.